collaborator link. See, we get both DNS and HTTP requests. Get your first SSR of Bounty. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to hunt for SSRF. It was out there for a very long time, but most of you guys don't know. So in this video, we'll look at four things. What is SSRF? The method to hunt for it. Now how to prove the impact and then live targets. So what is SSRF? This is us, the attacker. And this is the internal network of our target. So, when we need a page, uh, like the our profile page, we give the request through the web portal and it goes to the server and fetches us the page. We have only connection with this server that is front facing. And there are many other servers inside the internal network that we cannot access through the internet. But this server can. If this server is vulnerable to SSRF, we can use the server to fetch data from the internal network back to our server outside the network. Like accessing the locally available IP address like 127.0.0.1 or fetch details about the admin panel which may be locally available and also run arbitrary code and get a remote code execution access. That is the impact of server side request forgery. This is the method I was talking about. So I will brief you through what is happening. He have a separate video on that. I will put this blog in my description. So what he does is, when we choose a target, the first thing we do is find all the subdomains related to the target. For that, we run many tools. I will use sublister and find all the tools for the subdomains. So after finding subdomains, I will find the live targets like uh, the URLs that are live. After you get all the live URLs, use grep and QS replace everything after they equal to sign with our collaborator link. If you don't have Burp Suit Professional, you can use webhooks.site or interact.sh. I will link it down in the description. Both do the same thing like the Burp collaborator. After that, run it with this flag, forward redirect. This HTTPX didn't work for me. So I did the toolkit. This HTTPX toolkit worked for me. So if this didn't work, type the command HTTPX toolkit, then forward redirect. So let's test it out. Cat our URLs and replace it with our collaborator or webhooks or interact.sh link. Now cat the output and pipe it to HTTPX toolkit forward redirect flag. Let's wait. In this case, we got both DNS and HTTP. So there might be a chance of SSRF. This is a blind SSRF scenario. But is this enough for a bug bounty? No, this standalone cannot give you a bounty because companies doesn't care about the vulnerabilities. They care how it will impact their business. So you should prove the impact. For that, open up your browser and search for Payload Everything SSRF. Click the first link. This contains different payloads and references you can use to attack the endpoint. For example, use this payload and send requests to the endpoint. See how the server responds. It might give some internal data or it might return an error. That will help us find how the filtering works. So go through each and every one of the payload and the references and you will find something that will match your target. Now let's escalate this basic SSRF to a critical level bug. 
which is an RC. For this, there are tools like GoForus. Just install this tool and run the command, and it will give you a link to send to the endpoint. Layouts with little work. So now let's move on to the live targets. Do it with me. In LinkedIn, in the post section, we can paste a URL and it will fetch for the preview. So in this case, I'll provide the collaborator URL http colon double slash and our collaborator link. See, we get both DNS and HTTP requests. But before moving on, make sure it is the IP of the server and note your own IP. For that, copy the IP address, open a browser and search for online IP lookup and paste the link and make sure it's not your IP. In the case of LinkedIn, it is the IP of the server. But is it enough? No. You should prove the impact and as of now, we can't prove the impact and there is no known method to attack this vulnerability. So you test your skills out and see if you can prove the impact. If you test this in the post section of Twitter, the same happens. You will get a DNS and HTTPS lookup. What if you only get a DNS lookup? This happens in the case of this AT&T website. If I give the URL and hit enter, we only get a DNS lookup. Is this sign of SSRF? No. We should need both the DNS and HTTP. Without an HTTP response, there is no way we can communicate with the server. So why only the DNS? This happens because application attempts to make HTTP request to domain which causes the initial DNS lookup but the actual HTTP request was blocked by the network level filtering. I want to share one more thing. If it's a blind SSRF like in the case of our first target, we can do an internal port scan using burp intruder and add from 1 to 655.35 to do all internal port scan or like this. What I'm doing is a short scan for a limited ports. The scan returned with a bunch of SNDB response. So we can escalate from this point. So always make sure you check all the possibilities. This is my channel and these are all the links to my accounts, my medium blog, my LinkedIn, etc. And my Twitch and Twitter accounts. So if you like my videos, Make sure you follow and subscribe. I do videos on bug hunting and reverse engineering.